What I really like about that Vagabond song is that it changes from a smooth, clean guitar sound to more of a crunchy, distorted guitar sound midway through the song. And again, her voice is really incredible. Uh, and I like the backup vocals that she has within the recorded version, although it is a little bit more minimalist in the Tiny Desk concert version. The concert for this next song really caught my eye because the whole band was wearing a bright blue color. Uh, and the song I have next is Short Court Style by Natalie Prass off of her album The Future and Past. I also really liked the fact that in her concert, she had two other backup vocalists with her. That tends to be one of my favorite things to see when we have singers, especially singers that are just singing, is having them interact with and have backup vocalists as well, which happens a lot in the Tiny Desk concerts because you can't just have yourself singing all of the different vocal tracks like you might on a recorded album. So the backup singers were wearing a reddish orange to contrast the blue outfits of everybody else. Um, and she talks about how this album is a little bit political, which I also think is interesting as it came out in 2019. But it's an upbeat kind of poppy song. It's pretty catchy. And I just, I like the fact that we had a female vocalist and front woman um, and the whole band behind her is male. But I liked that she and her backup singers were in the spotlight there. After that, I have a song by Jacob Collier called Make Me Cry. Again, his voice is much deeper than you might expect when you see him. He looks fairly young, but his voice is so deep. Uh, and what caught my attention in this video was how many guitarists that he had in his Tiny Desk concert. He had a couple people on what looks like a ukulele and maybe a mandolin and then another woman on the guitar. Uh, he had a drummer and then he himself was switching between playing guitar and playing piano as well as singing, which is really cool. So I really enjoyed watching his multitasking um, and just all of the different moods that he put in one song, I think is really interesting. So he was not on my original radio show that this podcast is based off of, but again, I just thought he was really unique, especially with his multi-instrument performance. So Jacob Collier will be coming up after Natalie Press. So here's Short Court Style. <laughs> 